What is up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our eSports talk. As per usual, my name is Jake. For the first time in a while, breaking down Rocket League news, which if you guys are long-term viewers, you know I love this kind of stuff. I will try in my best to pair some news up to break it down for all you Rocket League fans out there because I truly do love this scene and especially the news that comes with it. Some big news as of late, that being G2's latest partnership. And with that, a sneak peek at what we'll be showcasing hopefully in the future, that being a dedicated gaming house to that Rocket League trio of G2. Now welcoming back Chicago just a few weeks back which I'm super excited for and this certainly shows the commitment of Ocelot to this G2 Rocket League roster which I am super hyped up to see how this will impact their performance for the upcoming season along with that the partnership itself with Philips monitors it seems the widespread debate is about whether or not these monitors are actually proficient enough for Rocket League pros I am not here to debate that guys either way a gaming house is certainly more of a rarity when it comes to a lot of esports scenes out there they have their be their benefits and they certainly have have their downsides. Let's see how G2 handles their new house. And of course, it, again, it showcases Ocelot's sheer commitment to many of their esports, Rocket League certainly being one of them. Now, speaking of commitment, we have a bigger story out there from a few days ago, which I almost covered, but didn't want to touch. And now we're back covering it, guys. That being Rizzo during stream, facing off against Rapid and Trio in scrims. And it's Rapid obviously trolling. I would say not a good look. It's not that big of a deal. But then Rizzo goes on to state that in the past, they've actually had to cancel scrims against Rapid for the same exact reason. I just realized what happened to my music. Dude, Rapid is so f annoying. You know the worst part is he literally did this in scrims. He started trolling and we had to cancel scrims early. Because nobody wanted to play against him and nobody wanted to play with him. Ain't that crazy? Oh f And for me, as an RBG former covering of that news story, you know, the, the down, I wouldn't say the downfall, right? The Of course, the change of RBG, now that's going to be Team Flight. Of course, that same trio, though, kicking Aeon and keeping a guy like Rapid. It's hard for fans out there to see this as not much of a, of a, of a disrespectful move, right? Of course, Aeon had a bad mentality, so they speak, and himself as well, not having the right mentality, I should say, to want to go on and compete in RLCS, so they drop him and pick up a third as well. And then we have Rapid supposedly multiple times in scrims trolling to the point where some trios out there who face off against them have canceled scrims based off that trolling I would say publicly not a good look probably not near as big of an issue as it needs to be made out to be um, but yeah for certainly RBG former fans out there probably does not sit too well as we have pro players out there some who take scrims seriously and some who don't you need personalities though so rapid of course and his teammates best of luck going forward but certainly had to mention that one very lastly though for all of you hardcore Rocket League fans out there or hardcore viewers of this channel, you probably have heard about Grizzly Esports. We talked about this just last month, brought to us by Antoine Griezmann, a famous footballer, and his brother alongside him, that being Theo. They're starting their own esports organization. Certainly have, by the way, a couple weeks back, hinted at an R6 roster. They have now signed that said R6 roster. It's actually Antoine's brother, Theo, taking to French television to hint at a Rocket League roster coming sometime soon. So I expect it, you know, honestly, within the next month or so, to have a brand new Rocket League roster under Grizzly Esport. And by the way, for any of you hardcore fans of Grizzly Esport, coming soon should be other lineups in FIFA, CSGO, and League of Legends. Apparently, they are dumping money into the esports scene. Super excited to see who they sign in Rocket League. And that's going to do it for today's three stories inside the scene. What do you guys think about that? Until next time, my name is Jake here from Esports Talk, breaking down esports gaming news every single day, all day long. If you guys have a story for me, my DMs are always open. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.